and welcome back into the Creeping Fig Cottage Kitchen. Today we're reaching back into the 70s for a dip, a ginger dip. Let's find out if we can put this vintage recipe back on the modern table. All right, y'all, let's get started on this ginger dip. We're gonna begin with a half a cup of salad dressing. To the salad dressing, we're gonna add a half a cup of sour cream. To the salad dressing and sour cream, we're gonna add a tablespoon of finely minced onion and a clove of garlic. This ginger dip has a secret ingredient besides ginger, and that is two tablespoons of water chestnuts. I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of parsley. Gives it a nice color. And finally, a tablespoon of candied ginger. Finely chopped. Let's get that all in there. Won't be ginger dip without it. I'm gonna mix this just a bit. And then we will put in our final ingredient, which is a tablespoon and a half, a teaspoon and a half of soy sauce. I'm just gonna eyeball that. Let's stir it up. Now that we're all stirred up, I'm gonna place this into the refrigerator to chill. Now that our dip is chilled, we're gonna plate it up and give it a taste. There we have it, folks, ginger dip. It's suggested that we serve it with a sesame cracker. I've got a nice, sturdy, seeded cracker to serve with it. And John's gonna join me and we're gonna give it a taste. The best part. I guess we just dip. It does a dip. And. Mm. That's a good dip. It's not super ginger forward. Mm -hmm. Ginger does add a nice spice to it. And it comes in on the back. I think it's great. Very good. I would suggest the ginger dip for your next get together. The recipe will be below. The recipe will be in the description. Make sure to like and subscribe. <laughs> Make some ginger dip. You won't regret it. <laughs>